Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Kingdom Come Deliverance. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today, because I'm trying to take out a guard out here. There's another problem that I didn't think of um, last episode, which is the fact that uh, my horse has things. Hello. Hello everyone. You guys are eating? Good Do for you. Need help? Good for you. I don't actually. I mean, maybe. It's a bit complicated. I'll I'll have a chat with you in a little bit. This doesn't lead anywhere. This is terrible news. No, it leads somewhere. This is great news. It's a dead end. This is terrible news. So we need to talk to the abbot or something i'm not really sure and uh hopefully this goes up there's food can i eat the food can't eat the food this is terrible this is terrible so um yeah we're wanted for for bad things and uh i might need to be arrested and i would rather not there's no guard over here there's a guard over there so what if they see me skulking? Oh, by the way, I'm naked. That's why I'm not fighting them. Because punching guards to death is definitely not in my skill book. Also, this is there's no guarantee that this will work. Because I'm pretty sure there's guards up here somewhere. And I also don't know what time it is. Oh, really? Yeah, that's a bit of a problem, isn't it? Excuse me. May I? You don't mind. Oh, you you do. Oh, well. Still focus on his food. As you would be. Unless the food was crap. So this isn't even... Where is he? Oh. Oh, right. I'll see you later, Overseer. What? No. Okay. Um, so we didn't put away all of our worldly goods. They're not very good. Because of the horse. So I'll just, you know, walk right out the door. Nobody's going to see anything. Nobody did see anything. Roach, let's get out. People really want me dead here, and it upsets me. Okay, it's fine. We still have a bed. Or should, maybe. I don't know. Let's get out. Uh, so we can go to Ladechko again. Uh, we're well slept. Actually, oh, I can't load from here. We have the save from the... We can just load the save. From the sleep. I mean, please be a carcass. It is an attack on the road. Because mm -hmm. the carcass is good. You can just go there. Another attack on the road. Can go there and uh, and reload. I mean, I guess the attack on the roads you can as well, but I'm risking something here. Oh, what? What were you? Screw you. So the idea here is, let's see. That is not the autosave that I had at the beginning of this episode. That is the autosave that I have on the sleep. And look at that. Okay, so yeah, my big mistake was that in my horse, uh, I have a lot of stuff, and all of this, it's a very easy way to basically do away with everything, which is going to be lovely for me to take care of and stuff, and then move all. There it is, perfect, and now we can sleep. I'm pretty sure there was a book. No, I got the save. The save only happens when you actually sleep, so we're good. <sighs> also, oh. No, it's just a matter of... Uh, let's just sleep one more time for the save to happen. It's just a matter of... Uh, it's, it's done. We had already slept. Okay, now we still have the issue, mind you, of uh, the wall people wanting me dead. 
Oh, why? It's because I'm indoors. Right. Roach! I know you look very purty. Actually, why do you look very purty? You shouldn't look purty. Oh, because... That doesn't count. I see. No, okay. Let's go. To the monastery where everyone hates me. And our... And he's definitely... I... There's a lot of... I... Hmm... Yeah, there's there's a few concerns regarding. I was I was saying last episode about how this being an open world game changes the dynamic of things. There's another thing that I failed to consider, uh, which is the fact that uh, the guards want me in prison, but the uh, the guy that actually checks the identity of people so much that I need a freaking writ uh, doesn't recognize me. I guess maybe that explains why he doesn't recognize me, because he just checks the writ. Okay. Yeah, I guess that, 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 yeah. It's a little bit weird, though. It's like, arrest that man right now! He's a wanted criminal! No, he's not. He was sent here by the abbot, or somebody. Okay, sneaking in. The pig is not going to arrest me, but the guard might. What? I don't like that. Ah. The monk's habit. What do you think you're doing? Nothing. Other mind to call the guards. It's a good thing you're not a guard then. You shouldn't see that. Also, I don't know why I'm in combat. I'm not. Okay. No, we can't go in here, but that's not the issue. Or maybe it is. Where do I have my... He gave me... Strange feeling being without all of that. I didn't realize how good. much I'd grown used to it. Good, good. You didn't grow was. I mean, I did grow used to seeing your face behind a mask. Everything's prepared. But I think everything is good. It's time for you to take your vows. Yes, all the vows. Do I really have to wear this? Yes. You'd better get used to it. You'll be wearing it for the rest of your life. Ah, <sighs> lovely. He's not acting, acting very piously, I should say. I mean, he's a new, young, hot blood, so I suppose. Yes, you fell down that. Oh no, not you're not looking. Party. So party. Had we been here? I don't think we had. One of them is my target. Who's singing about? Is it? Oh, it's this guy. Yeah, right. The the sound is not. Brothers in Christ. The correct we have sound gathered here today for them to welcome there. a new novice into our midst. A new novice? There's so many of us. Dear brother, forget your former Maybe. life I don't and understand. embrace your new vocation in the community of the monks of Saint Benedict. What former life? I forgot. I don't know. Opus Dei. Obedientia, obprobria, the work of God, obedience, the service of God, in, obedience, ob and proper. endurance oh, of all discomfort. Yeah, yeah, there it is. <laughs> These are the cornerstones and succor of our order, which on this day shall become your own. He was saying the things and I was saying it and it was weird. Do I need to shave my head, though? 
Domine, secundum eloquium tuum et vivam. Et non confundas me ab huh. expectatione He's not singing in, ec in what I think is eccles ecclesiastical Latin? Maybe. Oh, right. You know. In nomine. Oh, dang it, he knows. I was half expecting him to go uh, all big Latin on us. <laughs> In loquium tuum vivam. The boom. Et, et non confundas me ab expectatio. He's not swearing at least. Me. Uh, Amen. Come on. Accept your new name. Oh, there is. Brother Gregor. Sounds like good. And wear it with honor. Welcome, brother. Because it's about the only thing I'm going to wear. Ha! <laughs> Considering of the, the vestments that I have right now. It's a very metal soundtrack. The Walchers thing. Except for the instruments. They don't really use... Welcome, brother. Electric guitar. I am Antonius. And that's it. A novice like you. I've been instructed to guide you around the monastery and tell you what you can expect and what your duties will be. I, uh... Hmm. Is it alright if we don't do the tour? I thought that since you're literally a complete novice, you'd be interested to know what you have to do tomorrow. But if you don't want to come with me, I won't force you. Here's a letter from the prior... Oh, no, let me schedule. go back! Read it and observe it. Okay, everyday labors. Maybe I'll go, yeah. Yeah, yeah, um... Would you tell me something about yourself? I'm a novice and I'm here because I'd make a poor merchant. I like books That's and I want an education. Not a very good Although I must say, so far the monastic life has been quite unexpected. Do you find the love of your life in here? Or perhaps just wasn't expecting to be as devoted to God? Or the opposite? Maybe you read the Bible. Ha! Thanks for helping me out during the ceremony. I had no idea what I was supposed to do. That was a jab, by the way. You don't know Latin, do you? Don't worry. I do. Work in the scriptorium Look. will teach you fast enough. He knows better than I did. Why exactly? I don't know Latin. Was it your choice? Or did yes. someone force you to come? Both. Can I not say? It was my choice. For a common lad like me, it's the easiest way to get an education and do something worthwhile with my life. It looks like we're both here for the same reason. That's... I think we'll get along. <laughs> Remember how last episode I was saying that's not how work works? You know, I don't know how to work, says that other dude. <laughs> Get an education and do something worthwhile with your life? Or, I'm paraphrasing, I suppose. Uh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. The getting the education is the something worthwhile in your life. It's not like, you know, it kind of makes it seem like he's going to do something with the education. No, 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 no. You're going to be educated, and that's that. And that's how it works. You're gonna read books and write books, or you're gonna be, you're gonna fill. The, the, they have a name for like you know, thinking on philosophies, things and religious stuff and all that. They have a name for that. I don't remember the name of of that. Uh, or you're gonna know how to speak Latin for one. Let's go then. Good, but before we do. Here's a letter directly from the prior telling you all your regular duties from tomorrow onwards. Make sure to read it this evening so you know how things work. Wait a minute. Right, we can go now. Follow me closely. I'll explain everything as we go. You're wearing undergarments. Remember one word. Discipline. It's your job to work and pray. You serve the Lord now, not your own bodily needs. I need to sh 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 poo. Well, how do you say poo in, in the church? Do, no, Peace be with they you, have a name brother. for that. Defecatus omnipotentis. <laughs> That's funny. I, I like I like poo jokes. Latin poo jokes, best jokes. Hi, what? Hmm? Gonna this is the way to the dormitory. Right. Where we I've all been sleep. here before. I mean, I haven't. You'll find a free bed there, which is now yours. It's free. I don't like the sound Do of that. Do you know the first thing the monastery taught me? 
Discipline. To appreciate sleep. Oh. We rise yes. before dawn every day. It takes a bit of getting used to. That guy smells. Actually, a lot of you smell in here. Ugh, gross. Go away. The ones in black cell. This is the garden. Gross. Is it? A place for silent contemplation and meditation. It's the... Centuries ago, Don't this you guys monastery call it... was founded by the most esteemed of brothers, St. Procopius. His earthly remains can be found in a cave under the monastery, and his spirit wanders the corridors at night, punishing any misbehaving novices. Ooh, I look forward <laughs> so to that. So beware. Oh, was that cheeky laugh? The right there. The also, shouldn't you call it together with the, the inner library. sanctum? These are the places where we work. Is it sanctum? Aura no. et what is it labora. Called? Pray and work. As yes. a novice, you must always listen to your superior brethren. Mm -hmm. And above us, they call it a different name for this thing, and I don't remember. The cicadas. It's not garden. Punish it's every else. infraction. You'll know them by the canes they carry. Oh yeah. Do what they say. Or they will me. We'll this is the whip refectory me. where we what come thing? together to eat. Mm -hmm. During meals, you must be silent. Only one brother reads aloud from the rule of Saint Benedict. Does he eat? The rule is the only law we recognize, with the exception of those from God himself. If you break any of its precepts, expect a swift punishment. Oh, yeah. But I've already told you about the circuitors. Yes. I remember all of that. Discipline. Ooh, this... Oh, I've been here, of course. What? The library. The pride of our monastery. A trove of learning. We don't just read books here. We also copy them. You, too, will learn how. Good, good, good. And that's all. Today you are still free from duty. But tomorrow you begin work like the others. If you need anything, ask any of the brothers. We'll be glad to help you. And I recommend you get to know the other novices. You already know me. Then there is Siskin, Yodok, and Lucas. Thanks for showing me around. There's a lot to learn here. Yeah, what I was saying about their undergarments... I am pretty certain there's something... Maybe the different orders have different things and it's like it doesn't apply to everything, but I'm pretty sure there are certain stipulations uh, towards what kind of fabric touches your skin, specifically. Um, and for monks in particular, because it's also a life of um, penitence, I believe. Penitence is the word specifically for just being uncomfortable in your clothes. Uh, and... Um, there's all sorts of specific, like, rules and then tales from there. Like, for example, um, I don't know if this is just super common, but I know of a, at least a, uh, a frere, 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 it's freres, fre it's a, anyway, it's a thing. And uh, people go to a mass, I think is the name. Um, and maybe it's not mass, because for mass you need to have the, Communion, I think, is the name. Either way, uh, they go to uh, the main church or chapel to pray in group and um, and observe all the things. Uh, and they must stay uh, up. Th they must stand through the whole ceremony. And uh, of course, that's terrible on on everything and for particularly older people. Um, and here in the frayery, where the freighters are, anyway. Um, that I know of, it's kind of close to my home, uh, and I'm pretty sure that it's not the only one, so this might be a really super common thing, but uh, they had these things, um, the, the, these sort of canes, uh, where they, they'd basically see, they'd basically be sitting upright and just sort of supporting their weight on their buttocks, just be a, a capable of sitting, but still standing upright. Uh, and I've heard of even weirder things. I've seen one of those stuff, uh, one of those things. And also there's like, uh, some seats in old chapels where you could look to be standing up, but you'd actually be sitting down. Um, and I say old chapels because the newer ones, you know, you can just sit down. It's not, they're, they're of a different time. Uh, I'm pretty sure... Well, I don't know how, how at least the Catholic Church works throughout Europe, but here in Portugal you can sit down. Or, I mean, you can stay, stay sit down throughout the whole ceremony. Nobody's going to be like, Ah, you heathen! P -p Stones! Fetch them now! Um, but there's like, you, you stay up and down depending on what's going on. Um, so I'm looking for a, for, I'm not going to tell him. He's not wearing the proper uh, thing. Will you tell me something about yourself? Didn't I ask this already? There's not much to tell. 
I lived in Vlashim, and after my father died, I found out I wasn't much of a merchant. So I left the shop to my brother and decided to become a monk. It's peaceful here. There's food and lots of time to read. So you chose to come here? It may seem strange, but I'm one of the few novices that did. I might be the only one. The truth is, the idea of spending my life in a monastery was more appealing than being cooped up in a greasy old shop. I mean, yeah, I suppose that there... Uh, the, the, I think the subtext there may have to do with... Uh, with uh, the, the vote of... Uh, Chastity, I think is the name. Uh, the vote of, the vote of chastity that uh, these guys, of course, take. Uh, they are not necessarily always inside the monastery. They can go outside. Uh, maybe not all of them, but it's not like they spend the whole... They can spend the whole life in here, their whole life in here. Um, but I think the subtext there is is more to do with the, with the sexual proclivities of, of uh, that he other, otherwise would have been able to uh, uh, engage on. Uh, but um, apart from that, like it, being a monk is, is it's pretty, it's pretty good work. I mean, that it's, it puts it very brightly. And not not only that, you can actually learn about something that is very important for the life of everybody, which is religion. So you're will be, you'll be just better equipped to deal with your own questions if you have questions. Like imagine you're like, oh, I don't I don't know if I believe in all of this. Uh, 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 a father and a and a thing. At this stage, they already had the the whole Trinity canonized. So the whole issue, like of no, did they? I think they did. Well, was that later? Because I know that the pro Protestants started because of the, I, I'm pretty sure they started because of that, or some of them anyway. Uh, there's some factions of of the of the church that uh, that have, exist because of different interpretations of the nature of of the the god of their god. So yeah, like the, all the doubts that people have, monks will at least be able to look directly at stuff and learn a little bit better. So if because so if you're already somebody that believes and just is worried about things being a monk is pretty good stuff um and not only that you're also there's also charity work involved so yeah it's not like you know you're, it's, yeah i suppose that's there's all, all other aspects as well it occurs to me you might be the man to ask i'm looking for some lock picks do you know anyone in the monastery who could help me lock picks you surprise me brother and you, a nobleman's son. Oh, yes. But you could ask Brother Solarius. <laughs> they say he used to be a thief. Oh. Good. I'd like to ask you something about... No, no. Oh, there's many things. Who's in charge of things around here? Truthfully, everyone except us. But officially, Abbot Peter. And soon enough, someone else. As if it mattered. Our life will still be work and prayer. I see. Don't say it like it's a bad thing. Come on. Are there any rifts between the brothers? Yes. From the moment talk oh, began yes. about electing a new <laughs> abbot, it's been like a hornet's nest here. Strange you haven't noticed. That is... Well, I'm, I've just been here. Uh, that is another juicy piece. The gossip inside a monastery is like... It's quite something. Tell me something about electing the abbot. Abbot Peter is old. When he dies, they'll have to select a new abbot from amongst the brethren. I could kill him. The candidates are John and Nevlas. And if you ask me for my opinion, Nevlas is definitely the right man. Can you tell me why? Unfortunately, no one cares about my opinion because novices get no say. Maybe I should kill John and the other dude. Tell me something about life here. Work, prayer, work, prayer. As if you didn't know. We serve God and that's the central truth of our lives. Why did you speak as if I didn't know then? Don't be sarcastic when it's your own fault. Say things that I didn't know. It's like, oh, our beds are made of th this sort of wood. And it's good because it's like, it works better for the back or something. What are the roles of the various monks here? Someone takes care of the library. Someone else the garden. The abbot supervises Cloister. everyone. And in his absence, Cloister is the, the prior. But it's the circators you should worry about. They're the brothers who make sure we observe the rule. Circators? They can be quite strict. Or so if you want to avoid getting punished, depending. always act righteously circators. and do your duties honestly. 
Um, well, there we go. Who would you choose as... Why should I even think about that when I don't have the right to vote? Okay. Gregor, don't go... I just wanna... Oh, there it is. I wanted to know why. Well, you know, becoming a monk, pretty good stuff for, uh... I don't have a lockpick, and my thing didn't work. Um, becoming a monk is pretty good stuff for, um... For avoiding the police, basically. Avoiding prison. I'm not really sure it would make me immune to it, though, but... We're out of time for the day, so let's find out what will happen in the monastery next episode. For right now, I'm Curl RPG, and this has been Kingdom Come Deliverance. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye. Oh, this. I forgot about this. Yeah, we need to read it.